interesting. Not to you, no. How do you know? Oh, come on, Elizabeth. But I can't be if you don't ever talk about it, can I? You baiting me. <laughs> Why should I do that? Well, we don't seem to talk about very much, do we, Tom? Mornings, no. Or any other time. Morning, no. I suppose I ought to take more of an interest in your, what do you call it? Rolling stock? Now, make me another 57 double X shunting curl wagon to go with the one up. <laughs> it should be ready. Is that what you're reading about now, Tom? I know it sends you around the bender. Not at all. Chuff, chuff. All right, put it away. You'll have to in a minute anyway. Hey, ho. Hey, ho. Are you building a new layout upstairs? Yes. An another LMS? No, um, not quite. You see, that's, that's what makes it so interesting. What does? Well, I'm concentrating on a small industrial line. It was built initially by the LNWR, but is now operated by the LMS, with a few intrusions from the GWR, such as XRD0014 number 34 and auto coach with a very sparse passenger traffic that What date is this when you say now? Oh, it would be, um, uh, 1933. Summer of 33, yes, I've been six. No, seven. And I was in the womb, almost ready to pop my head out and scream. Yes, well. Dear Christ. Elizabeth. What? You, you don't look anywhere near 40. <laughs> no, not a bit, true. <laughs> You're so hot and passionate at the breakfast table, Tom. <laughs> well, I have to scoot. Was it nice, I wonder, the summer of 1933? Oh, not as nice as the summer of 53. What was nice about that? We got married for one reason. For one reason or another? Elizabeth, listen. Uh, Tom, I'm please. sorry, really. Cheer up, eh? Yes. Had my Jimmy Riddle. Just come put my coat on. Cheery by then, Puppet. See you at six. Have a nice day. You too. Mm. Cheery by then, Puppet. See you at six. Yes. Dorothy or Ellie, what's the matter? Now, I don't want to worry or frighten you at all, but listen. Last night, when I let the dog in, I happened to notice this man just up the road, exactly opposite your house. What? Well, he was leaning against the lamppost, you know, and staring up at your windows, your bedroom window. What time was it? Oh, about ten o'clock. So what? Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. I didn't think that much of it, but the point is, I put the milk bottles out about five minutes ago, and has Tom gone? Yes, he's just left. Well, the point is, Elizabeth, he's still there in exactly the same place. You sure? Yes. Well, shall we call the police or what? Liz? Dorothy, I mean, are you positive? Yes. Well, what's he doing, for God's sake? I mean, what's he look like, a tramp or a burglar or what? You go upstairs and have a look. That's what I'd do. Upstairs? Yes. Then call me back. Are you alone? Yes, Harry's gone too. 
Look, you call me back and we'll decide what to do. Seems very odd to me, to say the least. Look, go up and peep out, see what you think. All right, uh, Dorothy, stay by the phone, will you? Oh, yes, of course I will. I'll ring you back. OK, bye. Bye. Now, look here, what do you think you're playing at? Well, who are you? What do you want? I suppose I ought to have bought you a big bunch of flowers. What? A bouquet of English roses. Now, uh, a bunch of forget-me-nots. What are you talking about? Well, you are Mrs. Elizabeth Carter. Yes. Elizabeth Alice Carter. Yes, but how do you know? It used to be that? Elizabeth Alice Dale, right? You still haven't told me what you want or what you're doing, staring at this house last night and this morning. You're much, much younger than I thought you would be. It's a bit disconcerting. I was about to call the police. This doesn't seem possible. Will you please tell me what on earth you're talking about? I've come a long, long way to see you and gone through a lot of trouble to track you down, Elizabeth Alice Dale. Why? I don't know you, do I? We were very close some years ago. Very, very close, you might say. Can I come in? No, you may not. Aren't you a nice person, then? Aren't you at all the kind of person I dreamed you were? Dreamed? I'm going to call the police right now. Do you ever once, I wonder, bother to put me to your breast? Or was it too much trouble? That does it. No, go no, away, no, no, go no, no. away, go I, on. I don't want to frighten you. Then let me shut this door. I'm here in good faith, I promise Please. you. Please. Would you be so kind as to cast your mind back to the summer of 1949? The summer of 1949. What happened to you then? Do you remember? Took my O levels. Did you? Did you really? What did you get? English, French, maths, chemistry. English, what? French, maths, chemistry. Anything else? Geography. And? History. Hysterectomy? History. Pretty bright, huh? English, French, maths, chemistry. History, geography, and me. I... You... Who are you? Don't you know? Don't you really know? I can't possibly... You must not. You dare not say these things. You... You're not... I'm very tired. Very, very tired. And I could do with something to eat. For God's sake. Please, who are you? Your baby boy, Mama dear. Oh. Hey, this is a pretty nice house you got going for you. Mother? Baby, my little pink baby. That's interesting. Mm. What's your track work, Tom? Farish. Large radius points throughout, of course, Ronnie. Oh, yes, of course. That's expensive. I suppose it is. We can't beat it, you know. I got uh, two Kodar CMI units for the bar. In a cab control system, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Not much passenger traffic, mind you. Three coach rigs, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the emphasis on goods, you see. 
Good God, that's a beautiful girl. And these magnetically worked reeds fitted here. I've got them buried in the banners. Sorry, what's that? Legs up to the armpits. I didn't catch them. Just suit me this afternoon. Just do me. An hour or two after lunch. Mm. Yes. Pull those boots off, eh? Good God, yes. It's all in the mind, Ronnie. Can't say it's anywhere else. Worst luck. You know, if anyone had told me ten years ago that I'd spend so much of my spare time running trains from the spare room to the landing, <laughs> just as well. Just as well. Aren't you the fascinating hobby? Oh, I agree. I mean, it's absolutely riveting. I agree. You think of the chaps who just. I, I know what you mean. Exactly. I still can't take it in. I, I still don't know what it meant. No? I don't know whether to believe you or not. You better have. What? You abandoned me, I, didn't you? I... Well? I had no choice. Hot diggity dee. I really had no choice. I was taken over, humiliated, bullied. Poor you. Very distracting, but with O levels and all. O levels? Where did I come in? History or chemistry? Or was it maybe uh, extracurricular? I was a schoolgirl. A pregnant schoolgirl. So not considered a person with any rights or any feelings whatsoever. Someone who didn't know where the hell to turn or who to listen to or who to talk to or what to do or how to escape or anything. A very frightened little creature in a bottle green gym slip with an overbearing father, a dimwit mother and a cow of a headmistress. Hey. It hasn't been a day since, hardly a day since, when I haven't gone over and over what happened. What about the guy who, um... Uh... What about my daddy? What? What well, takes two to tango. Don't be vulgar. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? My naughty boy, am I? Stop it, please. I spy. What? With my little eye. Something beginning with B. Come on, don't be so silly. Oh, please play, Mama. No. Something beginning with B. Think. What are you pulling a face for? What are you trying to do? Play with my mommy. very strangely. No, I'm not. How do I... How do I know that you... Well, that you are... Your abandoned baby? The day after I was born, which was June the 27th, 1949, I was given to a middle-aged couple called Brennan. The wife had recently been a cleaning woman in your mother's house, and their fare was paid to Canada. Incredible, though, it seems. Utterly incredible. I spy with my little eye... No! Something beginning with B. They told you, the Brennans? They told you? No, no, no. Well, then how did you... They're dead. Oh. They're both dead. The old house burnt down. Swish. Crackle. Bye-bye, Brennans. I spy with my little... Stop eye. it! I read it in an old letter. Read it? The day before the fire. Oh, oh terrible. <laughs> Wasn't it? I, I don't know what to say. I... I don't even know your name. Glenn. 
play. You disappointed? Uh, no, I... What name did you have for me? I didn't, I... Oh, come on. I didn't. A secret name? Whenever you wondered about me? If you ever did. I did, I did, always, everywhere. Whenever I saw a little boy, I... Well? I've never spoken it out loud, the name I... Adrian. What? Adrian. <laughs> well, it's a nice name. It's a lovely name. It's not my name. No. <laughs> I'm not a bit like you thought, am I, Mama dear? It's, it's the shock you're coming like this. It's a shock. Something beginning with B. What? Did you give up? Well, did you give up? Yes. Something beginning with B. Now, you can't guess it, so you give up, right? Oh, this is no fun. This is no fun at all. What kind of a mother are you, anyway? You haven't even offered me a drink. A drink? Not even orange juice? Not oyster milk? Not to mention gripe water. Well, it's a bit early, but would you like some sherry? <laughs> well, what's the matter? Why do you laugh? Why do I laugh? In school, in geography, they told me the Pennines were the backbone of England. They didn't say anything about ladies with sherry and ding-dong doorbells. Well, why not? Uh, just get the glasses, then. It's your coming like this, Adrian. I... Glenn. Glenn, I... Oh, dear God, I've thought about you so much for so long, so... Hopelessly. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. Hurry up, Mother. I'm thirsty. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. Dorothy, um, look, I couldn't bring you back, no. I, what? Yes, yes, of course I'm all right. No, 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 I, I can't talk now. No. Bye. <laughs> You're awake, eh? You're going to make up for lost time. What? 24 years. How do you mean? 24 years of proper care and protection and love and solicitude. Isn't Adrian, that right? Glenn, how can I? I'm sick of being grown up. What? 
You owe me my childhood all over. What? Oh, certainly you do. Definitely you do. Or am I just a dirty little secret? You've never been that. No, not to me, never. Mm. You can call me Adrian if you want. I, uh, oh. You never cuddled me, did you? You never played Pete Bow with me. You never kissed it better. Kiss what better? My kneecap. You never brought me a light in the dark. You never waited outside the school gates. You, you never let me follow your finger along the line of words. Please, I don't... What words? I, uh... Once upon a time, all that, all that sort of stuff. I used to tell you stories in my head. Oh, did you? Did you really? Oh, usual sort. Snow White, Rumpelstiltskin. Yes. Oh, will you tell me them for real? What? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? Will you, will you, will you? But Adrian McGlynn, I... A soldier came marching down the high road. One, two, one, two. He had his knapsack on his back and his sword at his side. And on the way, he met a witch. A witch? Yeah. Who wanted him to get a tinderbox for her. Do you want some sherry? Oh, do you think I should? Uh, would you rather have a wash first? A wash? Oh, do I have to have a wash? No, of course not. Not if, if you don't want to. I just thought that you might be feeling a bit stale. So you're going to make me have a wash? Why are you behaving like this? I don't want a wash. I don't want to, and I won't, I won't, I won't! Stop it! Stop it at once! I could do with a drink even if you don't. Now, come in, Tom. Yes, thank you. Sorry, I'm a bit late. I didn't get your message on time, actually. No matter, no matter. R&D costs again, is it? Hmm. Nice spell we're having at last, eh? Yes, not before time. Now, I really do think that we've had a long-term climatic change. I was reading somewhere the other day. The it Harlow was, uh... figures are still very disappointing. Yes, well... By this stage, on any comparable research, we would have had at least 18 months' return on capital. Isn't that so? Yes, but look, Mr. Blake, we... You can't compare like with unlike. Except on a balance sheet, Tom. All things show up in a column, it's eventually. What, what I mean is it's unreasonable to compare biochemical research with something that is more, well, say, a more mechanical sort of... Really? You think so? I know, sir. Nevertheless. Oh, yes, quite. I, I, I take your point. As I'm sure you do, Tom. It was, um, your recommendation, wasn't it? The mushroom laboratory? I, in a way, yes. Do you happen to know what proportion of our turnover comes from the sale of mushrooms? I know it's a growing percentage. 0.7%. Yes, is it? As it is in the new R&D budget, taking 4.2% of total allocation. I, I, I know that the initial results have been somewhat disappointing, but then that, that's often the way it goes. Not too often, one hopes. The total value of that... The whole UK mushroom crop is already more than the combined value of indoor lettuce and homegrown tomatoes. Yes. 14 million a year. Oh, yes. Which is. Not speaking literally, of course. Chicken feed. Well, Mind you, I wish it was chicken feed. You could treble all the figures then easily. Look, if you extend the mushroom line into the future, you get a very different picture. No, not a different picture exactly. You get a forecast. Twenty-five years ago, the man who put in enough work to get out 10,000 pounds of mushrooms could now manage to cover 250,000 pounds. And then, once we get mechanized pickers... Which means a standard-sized product, more or less. Naturally. Look, I'm not here to cross-examine you on the theoretical merits of the laboratory. All right, all right. And all our experience has shown that such a standard size would carry over to a greater point of sale acceptability. Oh, I don't doubt that. So, essentially, we have a biochemical problem, which is... Probably more difficult. Unless you inverted the approach and examined the mechanical picker rather than the thing being picked. Wouldn't you say so? Did go into this pretty thoroughly, Mr. Blake. You went into it pretty thoroughly from the crop end, yes. But not the picker end. Might have been, well, 
less expensive the other way around. Even so, the mechanizers depend on satisfactorily solving the sexual instability of the mushroom. This is in danger of becoming a ludicrous conversation, Tom. But that's as maybe. The whole point of the project which I initiated and you okayed is that the species on which virtually the whole of the mushroom industry depends. Agaricus bisporus. Yes, the species. Yeah, you know that. Now, this species reproduces vegetate, but in practice not stably enough. Now, the research is to codify their genetic background to get out the right kind of hybrid. Suitable for automation in the harvesting. Yes. Or as I say, admittedly with hindsight, that a more adaptable harvester appears to be the less costly and, above all, the more certain line of research. How can you say more certain? I mean, how do you know? I don't know if we're absolutely sure, naturally. Well, they're balancing one imponderable against another, that's all. No, no. Well, that's just the way I see it. Yes. That is what I'm afraid of. All I'm saying, and it seems entirely reasonable to me, is that the logic of the situation would lead me, if it were my responsibility, to place greater faith upon a line of research entirely and predictably mechanical, rather than squander quite so much money on a program designed to obliterate the notorious sexual instability of a mushroom. Well, what do you say to that? What do I say to that? That's why we're here, isn't it? I'll tell you what I say to that. Now, Tom. Bollocks! That's what I say to that. Thank you, Tom. That's so succinct, I think I'll make a note of it on the file. Yes, yes, you do that. Well, I won't keep you from your work. I know I'm the one who, ten years ago, advised against scampi. Never catch on, I said. Ha! No need to go into that now. As a result, shits like you were promoted over my head. I also advised against chocolate-coated ants and frozen pizzas and... This is a very volatile trade. You are so smug, aren't you? Yes. Well, I think that'll be about all for now. Thank you so much for your help. So I didn't mean to... Overreact, you know? Quite all right. No matter. Thank you. So, so, so. husband never does anything extraordinary, never says anything unexpected, and no, he doesn't know about... About me? <laughs> no, he doesn't know. Oh, gosh, I can feel my face tingling. <laughs> it must be the shock. Have some more. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Oh, there we are. Just a little one, Mother. <laughs> it makes me feel funny calling you that. I can't stay, can't I? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what are you going to tell your husband? Who am I supposed to be? <laughs> Why don't you tell him? I nearly spilled it. What? Why don't you tell him you had a baby before he came on the scene? I say, I feel a bit pie-eyed, Adrian. Glenn. <laughs> oh, don't let's talk about my... about... Tom. Well, so long as he doesn't ask me to go. Go? Of course you can't go. You're too damn right, I can't. <laughs> I say, I feel really... scruffy. <laughs> Must be the shock. I can't go anywhere else, you see. 
I mean, you've got to take me in, Mother. <laughs> mother. Well, I decide to have an English childhood after all. <laughs> but, Gordon... I'm entitled to an English childhood. <laughs> Look, I don't know whether it's a sherry or what, but I can't seem to follow what you're saying. Well, I've been sick of being grown up for some time now. Glenn? There's no fun in it. No magic. Not even kites or marbles or bedtime stories. Nothing. What? Well, being a kid again is as good an occupation as any other. It's better, in fact. <laughs> You've got such a... <laughs> such a strange sense of humour. Well, from what I've seen, most grown-ups try to capture their childhood again one way or another. But they've got too many holes in their nets. They don't work at it enough. They don't work at it at all. There's nothing wrong, is there? I mean... You haven't been ill or anything? Ill? Yes. So they say. But then they would, wouldn't they? Who? Who says? Well, you see, a bit back... I decided I wasn't going to talk anymore. That sort of thing upsets people, no end. Don't be so silly. Well, there, you see. Well, you can't possibly be serious. Oh, but I was. I decided I wasn't going to say yes. And I wasn't going to say no. And I certainly wasn't going to say maybe. Well, there's not much point in letting any other words pass your lips once you've cut those three out, no, is there? You've got to talk. You're talking now, of course you are. Well, I changed my mind. Oh, stop it. Please, stop playing about like this. You're frightening me and I, I don't like it. Please. It's all right. I changed my mind, I told you. I probably wouldn't have done if it hadn't been for the man in the next bed. What? The man in the next bed. What man? What bed? The bed next to mine. I don't understand. Ruth and I'll explain. Please, do. The night before last, he propped himself up on one skinny elbow and talked for exactly 44 minutes about the distinction between a kipper and a bloater. Now, I doubt whether even those who have spent their entire lives in the trade could maintain a monologue about spoiled herrings with such unwarranted enthusiasm. Well, that's not good enough, is it? You wouldn't like that, would you? The previous afternoon, he had explained with similar relish why it is that the draft beer in uh, Newcastle, I think it was, was stronger, tastier, healthier, and a better colour than any other brew in any other part of England. Uh, Where is this? Who is this? On and on and on, that goldfish mouth of his opening and shutting, opening and shutting. Hospital? You've been in hospital? What, what was wrong? He also explained at great length the origins of the word democracy, incorrectly, I might add the extent of homosexuality in the Foreign Office, why it is that the Americans will not eat rhubarb, and what to do with the minimum embarrassment if you should ever get your cock stuck in a lemonade bottle. I'd really rather not listen to that sort of thing, if you don't mind. Nor me. I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand it. Yap, yap, yap. He only did it because he'd been told to talk to me. Oh, for goodness sake, you're not making any sense at all. Oh, yes. Try and draw him out. I heard them tell him behind the curtains. Talk to him about things. Anything. Catch his attention. And to press his buzzer if I began to answer. Glenn, I know I haven't got a great sense of humour, or so I've been told. I mean, I could see he intended to keep it up day after day, night after night, boring into my head. Words, words, stupid words. Like a woodpecker drilling into my skull. Well, that's not good enough, is it? Is it? Isn't that so? He would ask. Oh, simply amazing, eh? Every other sentence. What do you think he keeps saying? On and on, there was no end to it. Do you want another drink? No. All right, then. So the night before last, in the middle of the night, when the fat black woman at the end by the desk was nodding off, and old Yakery Yak Yak was snoring his stupid head off, I tiptoed out, got
got my clothes, such as they are, from the outside locker, and decided, after all, to look you up. Why are you doing that? Oh, God. Oh, dear God. Well, there's no point in not talking, you see. You can't answer back for a start. But there's still nothing very much I want to say. Not as an adult. No. Well, who'd rather be a lamb than a thick old sheep? The only trouble is, if you're going to be a child again, well, <laughs> you got to have a mother. I'm, I'm lucky in that respect. Hey, mother? Mother? Why are you crying? Oh, no, Mama. None of this? None of this, Mama? It's a joke. It's only a joke. A joke? You're playing a game. It's only a game, isn't it? You're playing a game with me, aren't you? Aren't you? A game? Yes, of course, it's a game. I love games, don't you? That's face is really a bloody jumped up cashier. The only thing you can understand is columns of figures. I mean, it's an idiot's language, a nice cheese. It's sarcasm that gets me. It makes you feel about that high. Look, he doesn't have as much pull in the company as everyone thinks. Don't worry about him. Ignore the bugger. No, he's got the pull, all right. I'd be better off out of the place altogether. Oh, well, it's too late for me to pitch my tent anywhere else. I just put my head down and let the storm clouds pass by. Always works. Besides, have you seen my second No, no. My heart's not in the place. It's, the company's become far too big. Oh, well, I won't dispute that. I said, finish it, I'll just two yeah. more bits. <laughs> nice first start here. But the most serious problem we had was that some bags of crisps had two little twists of salt in it, and others had no twists of salt at all. And now look at it. Yep. Don't let him get you down, old boy. Thank you, dear, what I say is, no, if people want to eat monosodium glutamate with their dehydrated potato, well, I mean, that's their look -up. Why should I spend half my working life trying to make sure we get standard-sized mushrooms going in bloody great sheds for a mechanical picker? <clears throat> well, there's only one way to get a real mushroom. No, we're not talking about real mushrooms, are we? It has to go out when the dew is on the grass, pick up basketball from a horse pasture. <laughs> Can't beat it. We used to have a paddock that's by my house when I was a man. Yeah. We used to cross a field on the way to the railway station. And on my way to school. Yeah. Those were the days. It's a lion field. The cow and buttercups and watch and wait for hours on it. Waiting for the Duke class slip oh, on the old GWR. It's a tacky assembly. Do you have a, a slot machine on your station? Raisins, penny yeah. slot. Uh, we had dairy milk chocolate in ours, glass and a half <laughs> in every bar. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful things, the old steam trains. Superb. Probably the happiest time of my life. Then. Do you say you got a new catalog this morning? It's railing stock, you just the wheels, make it happen, you know. Mm. That takes you back, doesn't it, Chef? Oh, it takes you right out of yourself. Get the old trains moving, you know. Very nice. Nothing I like better. My wife isn't exactly overjoyed, mind you. So well, you can't expect wives to understand these things, you know. Just tell me thought of getting back. Of course, it's funny, isn't it? Why? Well, women in general. Wives in particular. Very profound, really. I mean, have you noticed they don't seem to want to be little girls again? Half as much as men want to be little boys. Come on, Aristotle, drink your beer. It's time to go back to school. No, it's true, though. But how many women play with trains, for example? Play. Oh, well, how do you know what I mean? They don't play with my trains, right? Well, what is it you do? Tom, I mean, what do I do? Hmm? Whatever it is, it's a damn sight more sensible and satisfying and more, more dignified. That stupid, dreary job I do up there. <laughs> Well, it doesn't pay very well, does it? Sounds just like Elizabeth. Is she feeling better? <laughs> it doesn't sound like it.
bit moody. She's a lovely lady. Be patient, Tom. Listen to Uncle. Yes. Oh, yes. Hot diggity. Great, <laughs> great, fantastic. Oh, mother, come see them crash into each other. Come see the choo-choos. There you are, did you see? Oh, you mustn't. What? You mustn't do that. What? No, Glenn, no, there's a Tom's train. They're not yours, they're Tom's. Who? No, no, Glenn, they're Tom's. He's a grown-up, he can't play with twins, he no. He loves his trains, he loves them more than me. Well, they're my trains now. No, they're not. Yes, they no, are. No, they're not. Are. Aunt. Are. Aunt. 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 Play something else. I want to play with the trains. We've got a piano, you know. Hmm. I'll bet you can't play the piano. Of course I can play the piano. Can't. Yes, I can. Can't. Yes, I can. 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 Play it for me, then. Please play it for me. What are you doing? Did, did you ever even feed me? Three times. Only three times, my baby. With a bottle? No. I wish. Yes? I wish I could remember. You don't love the trains more than me, do you? I do like trains, though. I hate the trains. What do you like? The piano. Poe. You only say that because you don't know how to play it. No, I just like trains, that's all. Trains and tanks and marbles and soldiers. Besides, I only like one song. Sing it to me, then. No. It's a softy song. It's not a boy's song, it's a softy girl song. I'll let you play with the trains if you sing it for me. Can I smash them all up? Yes. Crash them into each other? Yes. All the engines and the carriages and the signals and... Everything. And... OK. <laughs> Tom will be hopping mad, serving right here. <laughs> Can I stay up? What? Can I stay up late? If you sing to me. I know what you're going to sing. Do you? Of course I do. Mothers know everything, don't they? They have to. Come on, then. I'll be a good boy. I am a good boy, aren't I? I rest you down. Oh, that's not fair. You've got to start. All right, you go first. Can't catch me. Yes, I can. See, see, I won. I won. Oh, yes, aren't you the clever one? I'm fast, I am. Oh, I'm due over this. <laughs> Do I have to sing? Oh, you promised. Mm. You promised. You won't laugh? No, of course not. I'd rather play with the trains. Don't say that. All right, then. Um, it's for 
the mercy she possesses Oh, means that I owe her all I own T is for her tender, sweet caresses H is for her hand that made a home E means everything she's done to help me R means real and regular you see put them all together they spell Just a baby Long before I learned to walk While lying in my cradle I would try my best to talk It wasn't long before I spoke And all the neighbors heard my folks were very proud of me Cause mother was the word And though I'll never lay a claim to fame I'm satisfied that I can spell this name As for the million things she gave me, oh, means only that she's growing old. T is for the tears were shed to save me. H is for her heart. Go. Purest gold. E is for her eyes with love light shining. I means light and light shall always be. Always be. Put them all together. like that I'm gonna go play with the model railway now well you said I could I'm gonna make them crash into each other I'm gonna smash them all to bits well you said I could mommy you said I could mommy
Please come over and help me quick, please. Dorothy, help! Yourself down. <laughs> Pull yourself together. Uh, oh, I'm sorry to trouble you, Dorothy. Don't be really silly. <laughs> tell me all about it. That man. He was standing up outside, like you said. Well, he's not there now, is he? No. There's nothing to worry about, is there? He came to the door. And? I let him in. Elizabeth. I let him in. I had to let him in. I had to. So, are you in any danger? Oh, Liz, what is going on? I had to. I had to. Elizabeth. kept something down inside yourself for so long, so very long, it, it isn't easy to bring it out into the open. I, I don't really know how to tell you. Tell me what, Liz? On my 16th birthday, we, we went to the autumn fair in 1948. My friends, school friends, the travelling fair outside the and we, well, you know what it's like, schoolgirls. Giggles for one moment, haughty insecurity the next. The evening's coming earlier and earlier in the autumn. This one was a kind of smoky, silky half light. We'd been knocking about. There was this fellow on the bumping cars, helping to run them, I mean. And red cars, blue cars, green cars. I love the way the sparks fall down from the top of the poles with a crack and a hiss. Psst. What's this got to do with the man outside? Are you feeling all right? That's what he was like, the dodger man. The others got bored and drifted off, but I hung about letting him chuck me up. All the time, this fairground music churning about as though it was in my stomach. Sounds like true confessions with a soundtrack. Oh, I'm sorry. When the red Red Robin. What? The music in the distance. Oh, 
I don't follow what this has got to do with I ended up in the long grass, the dirty grass, and the common at the far side of the fair. I was a fool. I kept saying, no. No, don't. Pushing, clawing. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. And in the distance, the coloured lights, the music. When the red, red robin comes above, above it. Oh, that was a long time ago. I mean, why bring that up now? There will be no more sobbing when he starts throbbing. Liz? When he starts throbbing his old sweet song. What has this got to do with the man outside? I wish I hadn't told you. He was there, wasn't he? He, he was there. He was standing outside. I mean, it wasn't my... Ima he was... He was... Well, what yes, he? but... Oh, thank God for that. But you said he came to the door and that you let him in. Shh. Listen. Shh. There were footsteps on the stairs. Were there? And the front door closing. You must have heard them. I don't think so. Was it? Oh, stop it, Liz. You're frightening me. He's gone. He's gone away. Who? Who's gone? Dorothy, come and look. Please, come and look. Listen, Liz, I don't know what's wrong or what, what sort of state you're in, but for heaven's sake, make Dorothy, yourself clear. Dorothy, please go and see. Will you please go and see if he's gone? Go and look upstairs, please, Dorothy, please. All right. But you've given me the heebie-jeebies now. Dorothy, what is it? I startled you. Oh. oh, Tom, am I glad to see you. What, what, what is it? Is something the matter? Elizabeth, what is it? What is it? I'm home now. Look at me. Elizabeth? Stop it. Stop it, please. Tom, what's wrong? Do you think you could make a hot drink or something? Oh, oh yes, of course. Yes, a, a cup of tea. A good, strong cup of tea. No sugar. What? No, she doesn't take sugar. Oh, right. Yes, yes, we just go. Elizabeth, talk to me. You're Liz. What are you smiling at? Is it a game? You're playing games again. Games? What? It's only a game. Yes. It's only a little game, isn't it? Now you tell me what sort of a game is it? Hmm? Is it a game like last time, Tony? Last time? Elizabeth. Go upstairs. Huh? Your train. About my trains. You haven't done anything to my railway, have you? I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Look at me. What have you done? They wouldn't even let me stay on at school. Not even to take the exams. Elizabeth! I put the pillow over his face. His little wrinkly, pinky face. Tom, is he What is she? cry or anything. It didn't hurt him or anything. He was only two days old, you see, and 
that doesn't really count, that's not so terrible. Lots worse things than that go on. Tom. You haven't done anything to my trains, have you? It wasn't have me. You? It wasn't me. Tom. No, I mean, he's... There was a man outside, but she... Well, I did see a man outside. I had to let him in. That's what she said before, Tom. She said he was upstairs. They all said I wasn't responsible for what had happened. Everybody said so. The judge, stop, everybody... Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop talking like this. Now, put yourself together, for Christ's sake. It wasn't me. I... I know what you think of my trains. I know what you wanted to do to them. Oh, Tom, you must... You're probably in this with her. I know what you women are like. Now, I'll thank you to get the civil tongue. You ought to be ashamed of yourself going on about your toys. Toys? In a state... <laughs> what does it matter so long as he loves his mother? <laughs> if... I'm going upstairs. If you've done anything... <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. I mean, I don't know how to help. Perfectly right, thank you, Dorothy. We've had these little rows before. Oh, yes. You won't let the kettle boil dry, will you? No, but... Elizabeth. <laughs> what a girl. <laughs> Frightening me like that. <laughs> I thought she'd broken. <laughs> oh, you are a baby, Tom. No, a real baby. Oh, stop it. This is too much. I can't stand it. What, are you both mad or what? Oh, Dorothy. Uh, it's just nothing to be excited about, really, truly. Everything will soon be all right. I can't even tea. begin. Yes, do. Do stay and have some tea. What? No, we're both very grateful to you, really, we are. No, you see, it's I'm just not a, staying here. No, just, just a sort of... Again. Yes, a, just a, a game, that's all. That's all, really. Oh. There's nothing to get hit up about. Elizabeth. I know. Really must not involve other people. I know, I'm they sorry. They mustn't do it, no. And I've got enough on my plate as it is. Well, with mushrooms and everything else. No, I know. Yes, we well, simply must not, not, not do it. He'll be back, though. Well, not tonight, I hope. I know he'll come back. Yes, well. He's bound to come back. Well, just so long as he doesn't break my trends, that's all. Is that clear? Hmm? That once and for all clear. Is that clear, child? Yes, Daddy. Good girl. <laughs>